it's a balance between uh, keeping up with new products and making products that everyone can interchange with and, and use in an integrated way. Standards typically involve a lot of cross-disciplinary engineering skills and it is uh, very common that we have specialists from a wide variety of areas that come together and compose a uh, new standard. Standards for global markets or for global application should be done in a way that is inclusive globally from the very beginning. Their R&D centers, their manufacturing facilities, and their supply chain are extended around the globe. So if that type of a system, that sort of global economy is going to be successful, global standards are really going to be required. Standards is something that creates large markets. Standards help us to create economies of scale, create interoperability, open up an opportunity to deploy something in large volumes worldwide. If the technology needs to be widespread across many, many manufacturers and vendors, then an organization such as IEEE is absolutely appropriate for development. IEEE is the place that enables hundreds of thousands of engineers around the world to come together and collaborate. It is in the best interest of all these companies to come together, sit at the table and say how do we or what do we agree on and how do we go about agreeing on those concepts and create, you know, whether it's a language or a format or a methodology. The thing that uh, takes the time besides the work of actually doing the writing is reaching international consensus on what can be standardized and what can be left as a recommendation or a preferred way of doing things. At the end of the day, uh, everyone is there uh, with the long view in mind that uh, standards are for, for everyone's benefit and for the benefit of growing the marketplace. People have a need and people want to have a document that they can use as a tool for them to deploy technology. And I think that's the most valuable aspect of what we do.